Hello guys, this is Rupesh and I am back with another video which is about reversing a linked list recursively. So last time, I mean yesterday we saw that and yeah, before this, this this video is a part of a playlist which is linked list interview questions. So, so many people are asking like, I am creating a new playlist or what? Yes, it is a playlist. So I have decided to com combine all the videos in separate separate playlists like if i'm talking about binary search tree or binary tree, then it will be in separate playlist and if it is linked list it will be in separate playlist and like different topics will be in different playlist so obviously this is going to be in a linked list playlist so like linked list interview question and that you may get i mean you will surely get in my description field so yesterday we talked about reversing a linked list iteratively okay so this is recursively and yesterday we talked about iteratively Actually, I find uh, recursive way more easier than uh, the iterative, okay? And mostly this is the case because interviewer know that you have practiced a lot recursively, but it will be hard for you to remember iterative. But yeah, this is recursive. So let's see how we'll do that. So before going ahead, you should know what is called uh, tail recursion. And if you don't know, I have video for tail recursion like what are the different types of recursions available so you can go ahead and check that if you know or if you still wish to go ahead you take the call it is not so hard but we will use tail recursion and it is just like a recursion so don't worry so the whole idea is see this is your play, uh, not playlist <laughs> link list and you're standing here you will get this head pointer in your function which you will be using as a recursive function or maybe you will call some another function and that function would be calling itself again and again so that it can reverse this whole thing. So basically you will get this head. The whole idea is if you have to think, I mean, I thought this when, because I already knew what recursion is and, and I was able to think it. So I'll give you an idea. It's like starting from here and keep on changing would be a little problem. Rather what we can do, you just keep on calling yourself with the next and next and next and we know that each and every call would create a stack okay and the moment you reach to the last you know that okay this is going to be your head so the moment you encounter that okay i have received a node which is having next as a null meaning this is the last node and i should treat as a head so i i'll know this okay this is my last node because in recursion call, I'll go deep and deep. And then once I encounter this, I'll initialize my head equal to this last node and return this node from here to here. Okay. I'm returning this. Notice this. I'm returning it, the node itself. Okay. The moment you are returning this node to this stack from this stack, you will have this node as well as this node. So now what you have to do, you have to initialize what you received this one here, right? So five next, right? So you received this here. Now what you have to do, you have this one and this one here. You just initialize this as the next of this. Okay. So see now this five is actually pointing to four before this four was pointing to five. Now four, sorry, five is pointing to four. This is what we want, right? And once you do this, initialize null here. So before this four was pointing to five, but now five is pointing to four. So four is now not pointing to anything right now. Then you initialize it with null and then you will go back from here to here and you will return what this four here. I mean this node. So you will receive four here. Okay. Like this. Now what you have to do, you have to point three to fours next. Okay. And then you will initialize null here. Now, from here, you will return this three here and you will point this guy here and this is going to be null. And then you will return this two from here. Okay. So you will receive two here like this and you will point two's next as one and this is going to be null. So now if you see this very carefully, see five is pointing to four. Okay. And then four is pointing to three and then three is pointing to two and two is pointing to one and one is actually not pointing to anything because it is pointing to null in the end. And then we're done. So why initially I told that it is going to take 
टेल रिकर्शन एक्चुअली इफ यू सी वेन यू वॉज कॉलिंग recursively you didn't do any operation the moment you are going back from here to here and here to here then only you are performing the operation so if you have some function let's call it recurs only recurs function and if you call it like recurs and this is the starting boundary and this is the end boundary and here you just have some simple checks okay so that you will not have infinite loop other than that all the operations are lying here before this closing bracket so this is like if this condition is like if this whatever the root or null uh, sorry no node you will get is not null if that is not null you call yourself again oh not this one so this is semicolon okay so this is the calling portion and this is your definition so you just keep on calling yourself okay until unless this condition gets hit and Until unless you find that you are null, so once you will return from here, then you would have called from here only, right? So if you are returning from here, you will come back here, and then only you will start going for the execution of the leftover statements for the last stack because you would have gone return from here. Okay, so this stack will get over, and then once this curly bracket is hit, then we'll go to this one. and similarly this one and then this one and this one so i'll quickly show you the code here so we have this class and this is your api or function which you will use and pass this node or or the head you will pass head here and see we will call ourselves from here using nodes next keep on calling nodes next nodes next till we reach the end once we will hit the end or actually when you are standing here the moment you would have sent this 5 fifth node from here to here yourself then you will realize that okay node is equal to equal to null pointer no this won't be true because this is 5 and then you will see node's next is equal to equal to null pointer yes it is because this is null pointer then you will realize in this code i told you right that you have to initialize this to head right then you will initialize this to head and this head is not passed to this function this is just a member variable of this class once you initialize this you return yourself you return this from here to here i told you right you have to return it so you'll return from here to here now node 1 notice this node 1 is what 5 and node is 4 okay so what i'm doing fifth next is equal to 4 that's what i'm doing now fifth next is actually pointing to 4 and then nodes next which is fourth next is going to be null so this is going to be null and then i'll return node from here i'm returning this four here similarly i'll do the same operation we will receive three here sorry four here now let me clean this so i was saying we'll receive four here and this node right now is three because this is our stack right this was another stack this was an another stack another stack and another stack okay so if you consider all these things into a different different stacks because this is how it is and this nodes i mean nodes value is 3 and node 1 is 4 now so similarly you will do the same thing node 1 next is going to be node so now this will point to this guy which is 3 and then you will initialize node which is 3 next to null so now you will initialize this to null and send this to this guy because we are sending this node right and node is 3 in this particular stack and when you are sending this back again similarly now this guy would become 3 before it was 4 and then this will become 2 i mean not become actually this is like going back in the stack okay so that time it was like node was 3 and here node was 4 and here node was 5 so when you are coming back from here to here node would be four only in this stack because you are coming back from there to here right and then whatever you are returning you are returning this 5 from here to here so you will receive actually this 5 here also so you are receiving that into new node 1 but your previous node which you received was still 4 only right so this is 4 and this is going to be 5 so like this you will keep on returning and in the end you will reach here so here you would have returned 2 so we'll get 2 here and node is 1 Okay so now see nodes 1 i mean node 1's next which is 2 so 
So two's next is going to be this guy and this next would always be pointing to this one. So two's next is going to be one and nodes next, which is this guy nodes next, which is this guy. So this is going to be null and then we'll return node here and we're done because we, we now point to the head, which is this guy. So this is reversed actually now. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos.